what is popping I'll tell you what's popping these nails is popping I did this with a straw yes correct um, first you're gonna want to cut it in half and then this part's a little difficult to explain they look ratchet but they worked okay so I cut it like straight down the middle and then this one that one I messed up don't don't mind that straw but make sure it's like big enough or the same size as your nail if that makes sense and then you're gonna want to like curl it so that it's not too straw like if that even makes sense too but and then I'm put it down put it down put it down file down the nail bed take off that shine so that the acrylic sticks um I used the straws as like a replacement for nail forms if you know what nail forms are so we're gonna go in with the dehydrator and the nail prep to prevent lifting um, but yeah so as I was saying I use it as an alternative to nail forms because I just refuse to buy them but here we're going to pour our monomer into the little thing monomer holder I don't there's a word for this and I don't even know I'm not a professional so I don't even know what I'm doing or talking about half the time so you're gonna start off by putting like a pretty thick bead where the straw and your nail meets and make sure the straw is not on top of your nail but kind of like under it in a way and just form from there and make your way upwards once that part dries, like once that middle part dries off, you can, or dries up, you can go ahead and pick it up like how I did and just work with it from this angle. Or it's actually easier if you're going downwards, but I'm holding my nail so that you can see it in the video. Um, it's going to come out looking very strange at first, but there's no, it's nothing a file can't fix. Don't judge how I'm holding the brush because I'm doing it with my left hand which is my non-dominant hand so just work with me okay it looks ugly up until the end so just bear with me okay I promise it'll look good so then once it's like this let it dry and then simply just take that little plastic straw off and see you'll see that it looks like pretty thin and bumpy thin is good bumpy not so good but I'm not a pro so it's gonna be bumpy and then before I start the color I went ahead and filed it down to the shape that I wanted very carefully because like I said she's thin but I was kind of going for like a coffin -y shape or a square a thin square a rectangle but yeah so I went ahead filed her design and then after this I went with this color, um, color punch color, Pfft, color, 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 and I took just a small amount and put it into this empty. That blue was from my other nails and it hardened, so it's not going to mix with the color. Um, and I was going for like a, how do I explain this, like a glowy effect look kind of so I mixed it with clear so I wasn't trying to make the color actually lighter I was just trying to make it look like a fluorescent not fluorescent I don't even know what's the, like a glow stick I guess and then so I put the clear and the color and I mixed it this ratio was actually a little too dark for me but I didn't realize it till I started my nail and I was in a rush so I just went ahead and used it the this nail look or this set took me two days to do or like a day and a half to do so like I actually went to bed with just one nail done on this side and finished the rest of it the following day but um just like any other acrylic you're gonna go ahead and put it on there see it doesn't look like as fluorescent tea I hope you can't hear the wind but as like the blue kind of looks it's okay though so you're just gonna go ahead and keep doing that don't ask why I grab it with my right hand and then put it in my left hand that's such a kid thing to do 
However, it's just what works for me, okay? Just do what works for you. Do what works for you. I also work in very small pieces because I'm not a pro, like I said a million times. And because it's not my dominant hand, so yeah. After this, I went ahead and... Oh, I guess I'm still doing this. Whoops. Dang, I did like 20 beads on this thing. It looks so bad right now, but I promise you it'll turn out looking good. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how bad it looks. Okay, don't mind it, but after this I go over with clear. And as you can see, it's very bumpy. The I actually went in after this video and made the entire thing pink but the bottom was just like a it's almost gonna look like a ombre type of effect but I didn't record myself doing it so oh well but yeah so that's her I went ahead and filed her to the shape I wanted again and then see how it's kind of lumpy on the top I went ahead and filed that part down too <clears throat> and there she is oh she cute she's coming along so under there you can see a little bump that was on a straw but it's okay and yeah all right now i'm going to show you how i got the ombre effect i used this nail not nail this eyeshadow that i never used and i just kind of crushed it up i don't know if this is something you should be doing but it's just what I did because I didn't purchase a bunch of acrylic colors to use so make sure you crush it up as much as you can so it's not clumpy when you mix it with the clear so there have like I didn't I wasn't able to mix it as well as I wanted to but I was able to hide it if that makes sense so like there would be a little chunk that ended up on my thumbnail and then I would just hide it with some more of this mixture but yeah so I mix it with clear keep mixing and here are the rest of my nails I did her this morning and you're just gonna go and you're gonna go with the flow that's what you're gonna do I take a lot of time when I'm close to my cuticle because I don't own a hand drill I just use a nail file and so I can't really get close to my cuticle which is why I have to perfect it during this time when I'm applying the acrylic but yeah so here she is she looks gross and muddy and bumpy like I said but nothing top coat can't fix or not top coat I just put clear over it clear acrylic but yeah so here they are did the rest of them and then I'm going to go over all of them with a clear acrylic coat. And this is her. Then we're going to file them down to the shape that I want. And then after her, I... What did I do? Oh, I buffed her. I buffed her out. And then after I buff her out, I washed her off so that I could get all the yucky, crusty, dusties off. Um... I think buffing is like one of my favorite things to do. Buffing and filing. But yeah. So now they feel nice and schmood. Yum. Cute. So then I'm going to add some jemmies to it. My battery actually died while I was trying to show how I did this. This was actually my first time doing jemmies. But I applied matte clear coat for them to stick on there. I don't use any glue and i'll just show you how i just did this one design i basically just did whatever like i really had no plans or intentions on how i wanted this to look or come out so um on this hand i did like a really not really dramatic but i did a more of a dramatic jemmy look and then on my other hand i did more of a simple look but yeah, I just used this um, thing I got from Amazon, and it came with this tool, and she, pff, 
she actually kind of cute so here's the pink side the nice and simple it was focusing on the dog but and then here's the blue side girl she is hopping thanks for watching i can't get over how it looks um stay tuned for i don't know i'll probably do something dramatic again but whatever deuces